Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. My name is Tessa Lark and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool night sky resin coasters. So for today's project, we're going to be using some epoxy resin and also alcohol ink. And I will list all of the tools that I use below in the description. So if you're interested in trying any of those, they will all be there um, just to make things a little bit easier for you. And let's just hop right into this project. Oh, but before we start, please make sure that you subscribe. I'm here for you every week with uh, DIY arts and crafts. I also do a lot of beauty reviews, tutorials, and um, beauty DIY, things like that. So if those are videos you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed and we can hang out every week. All right, let's craft. So for today's project, I'm just using the Artist Resin and it's their Diamond Clarity Resin and some silicone cups. The resin I'm using is a one-to-one -one ratio of resin to hardener, so I'm just measuring those out. And then after I've measured them together, I will thoroughly mix my resin. And when mixing resin, you just want to make sure that you're really getting the sides and the bottom of your container to make sure everything's thoroughly incorporated. And I'll be using about 50 milliliters per each coaster. You also want to make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated area and using all of the proper safety uh, equipment that you need when working with resin. heat gun to just take some of the bubbles out of the resin. I find it's super helpful and it makes for really nice clear finished pieces. I'm just going to begin to drop in my alcohol ink and for this project I'm using white, black, and then a metallic gold.
right, so I let the coasters set up overnight and let's just pop them out of their molds and see how they turn out. Oh yeah. This one turned out really cool. I really like how much gold came through to the front on this one. Oh, and this one too. I like this kind of line here. I think it's pretty neat. Overall, these turned out really neat. Um, they kind of remind me of like night sky. And I will take uh, photos in like a lower light so you guys can see them a little bit better. But I'm really happy with how these turned out actually. I think doing 50 milliliters of resin, is it milliliters? I, uh, yeah, um, I think doing the 50 milliliters makes for a good size coaster. It's not too thick. It's also very sturdy. But anyway, I'm really happy with how these turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, if there's like a certain color combination that you want me to try for these, let me know because I'm definitely up for taking your input into consideration and making some more stuff that you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments. I'm also going to go ahead and list these on my Etsy as a set. I'm thinking probably for somewhere between like 20 or $30. I also saved my silicone cups just to show you guys how easy it is. Like if you just leave your popsicle stick in there, you can just pull out all that extra resin. And then there's still a little bit of like residual residue, like residue around the cup, but I can take duct tape and get all those little pieces out and then just give it a wash and be able to reuse these again and again, which is great. Um, and that's actually a tip that I learned off of a YouTuber here named Artsy Mad Woman. I don't know if you guys are watching her already, but um, she does a lot of resin crafts <laughs> and tutorials and things like that. And um, She's got a really cool personality. I like watching her, her stuff. And that's it for me this week, you guys. Like I said before, did you guys see that? It was like a little fuzzy, like a ghost. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching this video. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you did like it so I know that you like it and I know to keep making more content like this for you. And I will see you later. I hope that go out and you create something of your own today and have a great day. See you next time. Bye.